guys welcome to wikivox channel where the search for the truth begins nearly 2600 years ago the tamils were using nanotechnology can you believe this the tamils used clay pots which had nanotechnology coating we are going to discuss the carbon nanostructure which was discovered in keeladi we were lately discussing the darpa series we also discussed graphite and graphene synthetic cells are going to be made of graphene Before 2600 years ago meaning 600 BC Tamils were using nanotechnology Tamilians technology had no errors or miscalculations so keeladi before 2600 years ago may be the human civilization's cradle of life the pride of tamilians is safely protected in the area called keeladi Archaeological digs have reached 5th and 6th stages and still we cannot find any records of the discoveries from the Indian government. The Tamil people's history, their culture, their way of life should be known to a lot of people, but at this time of neglect we just want one or two scientists to know about the Tamil history. The remains of many clay pots were discovered in Keeladi. The truth whether it's clay pots or wells which was built by a Tamil civilization cannot be denied by anyone. Some scientists did research with this clay pots remains. They discovered that there was a unique black coating in the clay pots. They also discovered that carbon nanotubes were in the black coating. Carbon nanotubes in the modern era was developed in 1991 which is called CNT. From 1991 to 2006 in America more than 4500 applications for getting patent rights for nanotubes have been submitted. This data is from a scientific paper. Carbon layers will be laid one upon another. This is called graphite. If we remove all the layers the final layer of carbon will be graphene. So if you fold this graphene into a round or cylindrical shape then it is called carbon nanotubes. This carbon nanotube and graphene comes under CP2 bond type. Diamonds belongs to SP3 bond type. So carbon nanotubes and graphene are tougher than diamonds. So carbon nanotubes and graphene have the same bond type and carbon atoms. Scientists call it the wonder material. Carbon nanotubes and graphene are very high electrical heat conductors which are tougher than other materials. They have the ability to pass electrons. Their weight is very low. The carbon nanotube is used in the bulletproof vests. There are so many advantages with carbon nanotubes and graphene. How many types does the carbon nanotube consists of? Carbon nanotube has three types. The first is armchair CNT, zigzag CNT and chiral CNT. The directions of the nanotubes in which they are shaped will determine the type. After they have completed a nanotube it is called single walled carbon nanotubes SWC and T. If there are layers of these carbon nanotubes then it is called a multi walled carbon nanotube MWC and T. Can these SWC and T or MWC and T be created naturally? There was a scientific paper released in 2008-2017. The scientific papers clearly say that ancient civilizations had this technology but there is no proof that carbon nanotubes were created naturally. Science tells us that the possibilities of carbon nanotubes created naturally is very low. Somebody should have helped the process in the ancient times. So to create a single walled nanotube or multi walled nanotube it needed an external force the calculations for creating these nanotubes must be up to point the scientific paper which was released in 2008 says that from 2020 to 2025 this carbon nanotube and graphene industry will be a billion dollar business the future world will be dependent on carbon nanotubes and graphene Now you understand the importance of carbon nanotube. Now this carbon nanotube has been discovered in Keeladi. This news is not being talked in the media. The media will not speak about it. But as Tamils we should know our history. Some people may come and say that the findings were of natural occurrences. 
all science is from nature so when you name this natural occurrence it becomes science gravity is science but it has existed for billions of years when a person named it as gravity it was changed into a scientific term but still it is a natural occurrence this is the reality the tamils in ancient times were dependent on nature their way of using nature to their will was unique they thought about how to use it to improve their lifestyle the tamils were one step ahead in research so the tamils in those ancient times knew that carbon nanotubes and graphene were the toughest materials which had very high electrical and heat conductors so tamil people 2600 years ago needed the toughest material available on earth tamils had metals but tamils had clay in large quantities the tamils wanted to toughen up the clay so the tamils built clay pots but it broke too soon so the tamils discovered to toughen up the clay pot they should heat the pots these heated clay pots are not tough enough and it broke again now they wanted a coating to be laid upon the clay pots so through trial and error method they did a coating in the clay pots the tamils who lived in ancient times they had to use the fundamental trial and error method which could have taken many years to complete their research after many trials with many materials the tamils developed the carbon nanotubes scientists who researched these clay pots say that the clay pots had a coating they have been heated can we produce carbon nanotube through heat conductors carbon nanotube which was discovered in 1991 still now scientists are writing research papers on how to develop these carbon nanotubes so using the latest technology the scientists say that it will take years to produce these carbon nanotubes our question to the scientists is this how did the tamil people develop the carbon nanotubes who lived 2600 years ago we said that the carbon nanotubes must be heated how many degrees celsius was required nearly 1100 degrees celsius to 1400 degrees celsius was required in these extreme heat conditions only they could have created the carbon nanotubes the scientists of today say that the materials used for coating the clay pots may be carbon rich materials so when we say carbon rich material it could be vegetable oil or any other material when it is combined with the clay pots under extreme heat the carbon nanotubes may be created the clay pots could consists of iron content so iron and carbon together may have produced carbon nanotubes a material which is 200 times tougher than steel so through this method the ancient tamils have created carbon nanotube coated clay pots which lasted for many years due to the toughness of the carbon nanotube the clay pot has been discovered as an archaeological find in keladi this answer is acceptable to us but if somebody says accidentally tamils could have coated the clay pots which became carbon nanotubes this is our reply to them after many years of trial and error method for so many years the tamils have managed to develop carbon nanotubes and use them in their clay pots the tamils are the first scientists these people lived in keladi the whole of india should take pride in this discovery from 1996 to 2003 america is trying to buy patent rights because they know that carbon nanotube and graphene will rule the world in the future this technology was used by ancient tamils 2600 years ago this is the undeniable truth many will have doubts is the clay pot which is discovered in keladi single walled carbon nanotube or multi walled carbon nanotube a carbon nanotube is 50000 times smaller than a human hair it may be a single or multi walled nanotube science says that the single walled nanotube may be of this nanometer but the keladic excavations coated clay pot says that theory is wrong because the diameter in these clay pots are very low compared to the scientific theory now we ask a question to science what would be the technology used by the ancient tamils which has a very low diameter than your set theory of nanotubes for this question there is no answer from science how did the ancient tamils manage to build this technology 
how did they create these carbon nanotubes what would be the advantages to the people using this technology if we research these questions we will get the answers but will the indian government research this technology no they will never conduct any research they will give you an answer it was accidental don't believe their answer we will provide you with another proof there is a steel called damascus steel uts uts came from the tamil word urk uts was developed by the tamils they melted the iron and poured it into clay and included wooden pieces which are carbon then they will seal the pot which is made of clay when the heating process has been done iron and wood which transforms into carbon and combine with iron and thus producing steel this is called uts steel ultimate tensile strength this discovery was made by the tamilians when did this happen it happened in the 6th century bc nearly 2600 years ago they had to melt the heat in 1400 degree celsius so imagine the technological achievements by the tamils which is extremely remarkable how are they saying that it happened accidentally UTS steel was developed by Tamils and we have a lot of scientific papers to prove this theory if that theory is true then the discovery of these clay pots in keladi should be true Tamils developed the technology called carbon nanotubes and it was not an accident people may reject this theory if someone says that this video is wrong according to science then we will come back strong with another video with scientific proof In the upcoming video we will discuss how did Tamils manage to develop UTS steel comments about this video are most welcome please do subscribe and share for more content to wikiwox the voice of tamil pokisham please give a like to this video and please hit the notification icon nandri vanakkam